All right, welcome to part five of Minecraft walkthrough. Well, not walkthrough, series, survival series. We're in our house and I've decided to clear out some of the ugly blocks just hanging around the building. There's a few like this one. You don't need three blocks, just hang there, make it clean, make it tidy. Alright, now we're going to go back into our house and we're going to clean up our inventory and craft some items. First, I want to take this door off and it won't let me take the door off. Come on. There we go. I want to take the door off and then put it on the outside. You'll see what I mean once I've done that. <laughs> Whoops. No, I want the sand. I want the wooden planks, not to place sand down. <sighs> and we're out of wooden planks, so I need to go ahead and craft some of those. Alright, now we can put our door on the outside. Need another wooden plank so it can get up to the left. And there, that's what I mean by putting the door up so it's just a flat wall, it's not, there's no dip. The wall in there's an ugly pile of dirt just hanging over, or in like a hangover. So we're gonna clear all this out. Well, as much seems necessary. I uh, like how in the top left corner there's a little dude showing you your animation. That's funny. How fast can he swing a shovel? Jeez, look at him. Pig. Oh, I want to go kill that pig. No, I really do. But now we're going to go try and take a look at that cave because looks like there could be something interesting in there. You know, maybe some ores, mob spawner. Because there are a fair few mobs around here. I'm not sure if they just spawn inside that cave with a mob spawner and just crawl out. But anyway, run and jump. Good. So here we are and it turns out there is nothing in the cave. It's just black. And there's the pig on the corner. If you remember, like two or three parts back, there was the pig in the top of the cliff face just sitting there. So he's dead now. And uh, I'd like a moment of silence for that pig because he was a good fellow. Right, back to the video. We're going to go back into the cave we were previously in. And because we have more coal now, we can make some torches and explore further into this cave. I get lost in these menus a fair bit, trying to find all the items. If you want to know how to do that on Xbox, it's just Y to quickly move an item to your hot bar, and on PC it's Shift and whatever F mouse action button you've got. Now we're just going to cover this up so no mobs walk in from behind us. Let's go back up top and explore. Uh, 
And it turns out there's nothing in here. So we're gonna break all our torches, keep the so we can use them again. And we're gonna block this back off from here. So no mobs spawn in there. Actually, uh, I'm not sure about blocking that off. I think they could still spawn. But yeah, we'll just leave a torch there in case. Oh, I thought this one kept going down, but... Oh, we're going up. Oh, uh, there's a zombie. Swap to the sword and die, zombie. Ah, oh, and... Oh! Ooh, Enderman. That's creepy. Damn, their eyes are creepy. What's he got? Gravel. Hey, hey. Ah! And I like the noise they make when you hit them. It's gonna be. Ooh. And this skeleton, I'm just trying to bait him with arrows in his movement, but. What was that? That was the third person face cam. First person attack. <laughs> Skeleton kill. Alright, so as we go deeper in this cave, we find that there is nothing except some iron, which is good for us. Because we don't have many iron, much iron, in this plate. In this part of the game and thank you for watching the video as it comes to an end